Hey, my name is Sophia, and we've all been quarantined now for about four weeks. Um, coronavirus is so serious and no fun. A lot of us are either working from home or furloughed or laid off, and we just can't get to our lacticians, our sister lock consultants like we'd like to. This video is to show you how I retighten my hair so that you might make it through to however long this is going to last. I know that we're all social distancing right now, which makes it tough to maintain our hair and our nails and all of the uh, beauty services that we normally partake in. So this is not to replace uh, your sister lock consultant. This is not to replace your lactician's work. They are experts in what they do. They live, eat, and breathe sister locks. They do it day in and day out. And please just take this as a helpful video for you if you'd like to try it. If not, um, I'm sure your sister lock consultant can conference with you and show you some ways to get through. My sister locks were started in 2007 by Jacqueline Myers in Boston. Hi, Jacqueline, I really appreciate all of your hard work 13 years ago. They're maintained here locally in Atlanta by Julia Stewart Stackhouse. I had a traveling job for about three years, so I wasn't able to see her regularly. I was on the road 100% of the time, and I had to learn how to retype my locks myself, and this was helpful to me. So I'm going to share what I learned in doing this myself with you. And, um, oh, Sister Locks, I wanted to also shout out to Martine Bernard and then my very own beloved loved one, Ladon at Naturally Zahara in Boston. I'm going to include all of their information in the links below or add it somehow as like a drop in in this video. Um, so let's talk about the retightening. So you're supposed to get your hair retightened every five to six weeks for mature locks. And I think for locks that are not mature yet, maybe even as often as every four weeks. Obviously, we haven't been able to do that, so I'm going to show you what I use myself. So I use a darning needle. These needles come usually two in a pack, and they are less than $10. You can buy them from Joann's, which is where I get mine. I've also heard that they're at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I buy mine from Joann's. I've seen them on Amazon. That's another place you can get them. This is what it looks like. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see. So that is the needle, and that's the shadow of it. So the needle itself has a latch on it. It's very small, maybe about a couple of inches, and then it has this blunt point on the end. It's not a sharp point. It's about the size of a pencil lead. It's very small, which is why I like it. My sister likes her small. So you're going to take this. I'm going to try to find a lock that I haven't gotten to yet that's close to the front of my face so I can see what I'm doing. Ah, let's try. Yeah, that one's, I've already done that one. Yeah, let's try. Let me try. I wanted to do one next to my face so that way you guys can see. I usually do it only by feel. Let's do this one okay so you're gonna find the very end of your lock um, my locks are pretty long so you can also start from the middle so I'm gonna show you from the middle so that way all of it can be in the frame or somewhere up near the top so you're gonna take your darning needle latch open it and you can put it through your lock or around your lock and then you're gonna close it all right, you're going to make sure that your lock is parted. So I'm making sure we want to maintain our grids. So we want to make sure that there's no other locks around it. You can clip it if you want. I recommend it. If I get knots in my hair, I kind of back the lock out, but I learned how to do that over time. So I recommend clipping it. So you're going to clip it. And so you only have to work with this lock, right? And now your needle is attached to your lock and then you're gonna go I have a four pattern so for that for that that means I go across okay I pull it all the way through 
I pull the hair all the way through. It's done. Then I go bottom to top. Okay, so now we're bottom to top all the way through. Then I go the other direction across. Okay. So wait, almost got another lock in there with it. You have to be careful not to combine them. I'm getting tight to my down to my root. Pull it through, and then my last rotation will be top to bottom. And then we have fully um, retighten one lock. I'm going to pull it all the way through. So now you've retightened that lock, and you can move on. I want to show you another technique that you can use. I saw that this on a post from a sister lock person. I think she's she may be a consultant, but I know she's had sister locks for almost two decades. And this I thought was so genius. Um, I want to share this with you. So you're gonna take these out. Let's just say you've never retightened your hair before. You're maybe you're unfamiliar with your own hair. You're gonna take a lock. Here's one that feels like it can have a rotation in it. This one right here. Yeah, it's kind of loose. So, you're going to take an index card. So, this is um, half of a piece of index card that I've already cut. I put a slit in the, in the middle of it. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your lock through this through the slit. Part of my nails I need to fill in too, but it's been like going on week four into quarantine. So anyway, you're gonna slit your lock, slide your lock all the way through it, and then you're gonna clip it. So that way you're isolating this lock. You're not gonna get the other locks in there. I don't use this technique. I'm just showing it to you because I know that the idea of combining your locks can be scary and daunting. We all want to protect our investment during this time, right? So this is just about protecting your investment, right? And not ending up with one big matted lock. Having neat separated locks is all about that micro locks, inner locks, sister locks world, right? So you're going to, again, put the tool. I'm going to bring it up higher so that way you can see. Or maybe I'll bring it lower. And then just bring the lock up. Hang on one second. I'm, I'm hooking it in so you can see it. So you see, this is the bottom of my lock. Uh, I've had my locks for years and years, so they're quite long. But I'm bringing this so that you can see. See? The lock is in the loop. I've closed the hook on the needle. You can open it and close it. I'll show you that. See? Open. And now you want to close it. You can put it through it or around it, minus through it. Again, this is about the size of a pencil lead, which is about the size of my locks in, in the front. They're about the same size, if you can see. Okay, so now we're going to go through. I'm not going to do a full rotation. I'm just going to show you what you can do. So you can grab just this one lock. You've already parted it. You've already made sure that there's no other hairs. You see the loose hair right there? You're just going to... I'm going to go across just one time so you can see. You're just going to take it and go across. This helped me not bring any other locks into it. So you can do this to help you separate your locks. You want to make sure that you have your parts parted though before you clip this uh, piece of index card or cardboard paper on there. You want to make sure that your locks are separated and you want to keep your locks split apart. So if you have a lot of new growth, you're going to want to separate and separate and work through. I like to retighten my locks dry. I know some people put um, water or some sort of spray, rose water, to, to help them separate. Or if you're tender-headed, um, <clears throat> I know that people uh, like to put water. I will say this. One thing that I do, because having sister locks definitely can make you more tender-headed, is to not retighten your hair around your cycle. 
your body is more sensitive around your menstrual cycle. So you're not going to want to try to retighten your hair around that time. It's going to cause you a lot of pain. You don't want to schedule your retightenings on the same schedule as your cycle. The other thing I will say is taking a couple of Motrin. If um, you're a tender headed or if your consultant or your lactician is kind of rough handed helps. So this is me just showing you what I do. Again, take it with a grain of salt. If it's helpful for you, I'm happy that it's helpful. That's why I put it out there for folks. If it's not helpful for you, do what works for you. This works for me. I had to learn how to retighten my own hair when I was traveling um, for my work. I didn't have a choice, so I had to learn. I was 100% on the road. Sometimes I would come home on Fridays or Saturdays and have to leave out on Sundays. So I didn't have time to spend, you know, the five hours it would take to do a retightening, even if it was only every other month. I just didn't have the time. However, this is not a substitute for going to a Sister Locks consultant. We definitely want to support them. They do tremendous work and in a fraction of the time. This takes me hours to do and the hours that I spend doing this, a consultant would have had me finished. So this is just an option. If you have any questions, I'm available. Um, you can email me at naturallysophia at yahoo.com or you can post to the comments below. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, let me know. I've had locks for 13 years. Um, that is enough for me to know how to take care of my own hair. Definitely not enough for me to know everything there is to know about sister locks. Your first uh, point of contact should always be a certified sister locks consultant if you have sister locks or your loctician if you're just interlocked or micro locked. Uh, that's it. I hope it's been helpful to you. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.